Google has been busy over the last couple of weeks. And in this video, I'm going to show you the three newest best features that Google just launched that you'll be able to get 100% for free. We're going to talk about the new image gen four, which they just launched. We're also going to talk about tasks. Now you can schedule out your whole life using Gemini. And third, we're going to talk about the new Gemini CLI that you're going to be able to use for coding. So here is how you get it for free for one month. And if you're a college student, there's an extra bonus. Just go to one.google.com. Click on the left right here, Google AI. And then if you scroll down, check this out. Google AI Pro for $0 for the first month. Gemini app, Flow, Whisk, thousands of credits to create any type of AI video or images, Notebook LLM, and you get Gemini inside your docs, your Gmail, plus you get it in Chrome. And last, you get two terabytes of storage. And there it is, $0. And if you go down here, you could see if you're a university student active right now, you get 15 months of AI Pro from Google if you're a student. So make sure you take advantage of that. And I'm not gonna tell anybody if you just get your friend to do it for you and now you got 15 months for free. So there we go. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna sign up for free. Okay, so one month free and then 20 bucks after that, totally fine. Just make sure you cancel it and then you don't have to spend any money and then set up another email account. But you know, 20 bucks isn't a lot for everything that I'm gonna show you in this video. Okay, so now we're subscribed. So now let me show you what Google has officially launched. So here's where you activate everything. There's GitHub, which I'm definitely gonna be turning on. So we're gonna connect GitHub. So then I'm gonna show you the CLI, connecting everything and actually getting your code base. And then you have your Google Workspace, Google Gmail, Google Docs, Calendar, Drive. Again, we're gonna definitely connect this. And then we have Google Flights, Hotels and Maps, easy. And YouTube, YouTube is a huge one because now you're gonna be able to actually tell it, hey, can you track these 10 accounts and every morning write me a summary of their best performing video? Crazy, I'm gonna definitely try that. So now we have YouTube and then YouTube music. I'm not really into YouTube music, so I'm not gonna do that. But that is how you set it up. So then you actually have everything connected. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna try is Gmail. So here is our message. Can you go through my Gmails over the last 72 hours and filter out, summarize any email regarding AI? Boom, and just like that, Google, since it has access, is gonna be able to go through all your emails and just very quickly show you exactly who's been hitting you up. And you can do this for a million ways. If you're doing collaborations, you could say, hey, look for the word collaboration. Or if anybody says I'm interested in working with you, stuff like that. So check this out, Google AI and products. You received a welcome email from Google Pro Plan, which we just did, that's kind of funny. Um, then we have AI News, simplified AI newsletter. We got another newsletter, the rundown report, Anthropic, so all the news that I'm getting from all of my newsletters. And then here are some opportunities. TikTok sent you a campaign inviting Nova AI. You also received an email from Tyler about an opportunity to do some VO3 stuff, email from auto agency, from school, and so on and so on. This is very powerful. This would take normally hours to set up if you're doing some kind of NAA automation and, and it's all gonna be clunky. It just did this for us, but now here's the best part. Now I want you to actually schedule and every morning at 8 a.m. send me this summary of the previous 24 hours. It's the keyword AI. I could do it for any other industry that you're in. So if you're getting a lot of emails, and you're wanting to, you know, if you're doing sales, if you're doing collaborations, this is perfect. So now there it is, summary of the previous 24 hours. Let's keep going. Okay, next, let's try the YouTube hack. So let's see if we can actually do this. Can you show me videos on YouTube with the word AI in the title from the last week and sort them by most views? This would be crazy if we can do this. I've never tried this, so no way. Published a day ago. 19 AI news stories you probably missed. This week's AI challenge. YouTube AI overview. Let's see. ChatGPT's newest feature lets it re- Wow, a day ago, 54,000 views. What? This is amazing. Okay, hold on. So can you create a scheduled summary of this list and show it to me every morning at 8, 10 a.m., period? I want you to give me 25 videos from the last 24 hours the best performing videos with the most views. The videos can be anything related to AI, comma, vibe coding, comma, no code, comma, AI tools, comma, development, comma, SaaS. Bang, just like that, we're gonna have a comprehensive list. I'm no longer gonna have to go to YouTube. I'm gonna get a list and that's going to be used to write scripts and get inspiration, fantastic. All right, let's keep going. Okay, next we're gonna shift gears into this new image and four to get some images done. So you guys go to aistudio.google.com and then click try Gemini. So once you're in here, then all you click on the left side, you can see there's stream, there's chat, and then there's generate media. And right here is Imogen, our best image generation. 
So look at this. Image generation with ImageN has limited free quota for testing, of course. So we're going to definitely come up with something good. And the cool thing is you can actually do this with Gemini API. So you can actually start building products now, just like you were able to do with OpenAI's new ImageGen. Now you're able to do this with Gemini. All right, let's take a look at the ones down here. We got some pretty nice stuff. I definitely heard that there's some pretty incredible quality. Let's take a look at this. Wow, look at that. Create an extreme macro Photoshop capturing the breathtaking iridescence of blue Morpheo butterfly wings. Gorgeous. All right, so here's my prompt. So I'm going to do a low angle in New York City, super cinematic. I haven't tried this. Let's see what it is. Wet surface, splashes, reflection at night. So 8K, wow. Well, we got to take a closer look at that. Damn, that is amazing. Okay, so let's do this. Let's update. How about, all right, let's try this new one here. Let's go generate. Let me change it and we're going to run it. So I added a person with a dog, people walking around, some splashing. Let's kind of see. Nice. Yeah, this is great. Beautiful. Here's a crazy part. You see how fast it did that? That was in real time. That took no time. All right, let's try a different prompt. Macro, neon, colors, little, maybe ants. I wrote a bunch of crazy stuff in here. Let's see what it comes up with. Damn, this is gorgeous. I can't believe how fast it's doing this. Look at the detail of this. What? No way. Wow, there's literally little pollen off the edge. Water droplets. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right, there you have it, guys. Image generation is badass. It's really nice. Okay, okay, I got to try one more. I'm going to try a little Alex Gray surrealism mixed with Picasso. Let's see what it comes up with. Wow, this is freaking good. I love Alex Gray, by the way. Look at that. We got the whole Picasso vibe. Actually, we got to go, go back to good old ChatGPT, put the same prompt, and let's see what it comes up with. First, I'm also not going to turn this off. Let's see how long this takes. Sorry, this is going to be boring. Maybe this is the time to tell you guys, what? I'll help you. It's against our current policies. Well, there you go. So we can't even make it. Google for the win. I can't believe it, it can't even do this. Okay, that sucks. Well, ChatGPT, you're dead to me. And now to the fun stuff. Time to do some coding. So Jim and I just introduced this new CLI. This allows you to connect this into an IDE. So we're going to be using cursor. So let me open up cursor. Let's create a new project. So we're going to just call this Jim and I C. We're going to open it. Then we're going to go in here. If you guys aren't familiar with the code stuff, all the instructions are below. So what the Jim and I CLI can do now is quite a lot of tasks on the terminal level. So I think this is their response to Claude code, which has been going crazy over the last couple of days. But here's a couple of things you can do. So you just run the CLI, which you can just execute inside your terminal. But going down, you can see the examples. So the examples are, once you open it, which we will do in this video, but I just want to show you. So write me a Gemini Discord bot that answers questions using the FIQ I'll provide. Work with existing examples. You know, describe the main piece of the system's architecture. You can do working with your existing code, automate workflows, interact with your system. Definitely want to kind of play with this. Convert all the images in this directory to PNG and rename all of them. Organize my PDF invoices by month of expenditure. Very, very cool. So creating agents, super easy with one prompt. And the way you actually connect this, which we're going to do now. So let's follow the directions. Let's go here, open up cursor and paste that in right there. So now it's going to install Gemini CLI. Yes, there's some settings here, more for like look. So you can kind of go through and pick which one you want. So I kind of do like this purple look, which is the GitHub official look. Log in with Google. And then there's also Gemini API from API Studio. So we're just going to log in with Google. And just like that, it's connected and it says Gemini CLI is now authorized to access your account. So now we're back in cursor, but here's the cool thing. So now when you open terminal, it's actually Gemini that's actually being and controlling your terminal. So obviously I can open up a new terminal and have my regular terminal, but now I can actually use this within cursor. So let's come up with some cool to build. Let's actually go back to Gemini and ask them. Actually, first, I want to see what it can do. So let's go forward and type in help. So let's go through all of this. So basics, uh, let me go up. So here we go. Here is the help. So add context, use add to specify files, just like you would normally. And then you got docs, clear, theme. So add list available Gemini tools, about, submit a bug report, enter. So let's definitely try tools. So let's go forward tools, see what kind of power it has. Okay, so available Gemini CLI tools, read folder, read folder, search text, find files, Edit, web fetch, read many files, shell, self-memory, and Google search. Ooh, Google search is actually a really good one. So here's the prompt I want to give it. 
I want to test out the new Google CLI feature, period. Give me a really mind-blowing Google CLI product creation prompt. So Smart Home Energy Optimizer. This optimizer will simulate collecting energy consumption data from a smart meter, process it, and then store it for analysis. So you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this, but instead, let's do it something around stocks. Actually, you know what? Crypto. Let's go crypto. All right? Energy uh, resources is boring. Let's do something around crypto. Sure, I'll create a crypto-themed product using CLI, crypto prices tracker and alert system. Okay, so let's copy this. And then, oh yeah, this is definitely comprehensive. Whoa. All right, so let's go back in to cursor. And then we're just going to paste that in there and hit go. Let's see what it creates. So next it's asking about execution. And what does it say? Allow execution. Allow once or always. And also make directories. Of course, we wanted to do that. We wanted to go through and create everything. And I'm just going to come back. This is probably going to take a few minutes. But I have a feeling this is going to be a full built out product. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. So we're going to call this uh, Gemini CLI Crypto. We're going to create it. So now we have it. Okay, select project. So now we have our ID. So you need this right here in order to actually do it. We're going to go back to cursor. Okay, it just finished. And it just said to run the following deployment, put this command right here. So we're going to paste that command and it's going to run the deployment. So I'm almost done. But the great thing about what I've seen so far is this CLI agent right here is giving me step by step exactly how to do this with the exact commands. And then all I'm doing is I'm going next, 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 and it's almost finished. Once I've set up the project inside right here, I have my Gemini CLI project. And it's basically telling me every single thing I need to do to actually create the edge function. So it's actually building up the whole back end for me. And it's just telling me, hey, paste this into your terminal, then paste this. It's just been boring doing that. I've done probably five or six so far, but we're almost done. All right, let's load it up. Look at this. Holy smokes. Look at this dashboard with these incredible animations. Look at the overlays with the neon. This is sick. Okay, there you have it. So Google works and it looks really really nice so i hope you guys enjoyed that i think that should probably wrap up the video for today so make sure you guys go check it out gemini cli and of course if you guys want to go in make sure you hit the links below i have a link for you guys to try it and then get your free account that is the key there's no reason to be paying 30 bucks a month so you can literally spend a month doing stuff my name is marcin ai and i run a community called the no code ai army we have over 5662 people in here all the way from beginners all the way to full stack developers people in here launching SaaS businesses games websites i mean you name it everything is in here it's 100 for free all the links are below you guys grab that and i'll see you in the next video